to take four looks and step by step transform them into something that creates an updo. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this tutorial. To start the style off, I blow and dried my hair straight. You can check out my other tutorial showing you how to do this. So let's get started on our first look. What you're going to do is first take a parting from eyebrow to eyebrow and then make kind of like a small little triangle on the top of your head. It doesn't have to be perfect, but mine's going to look just like this. And then I'm going to start and make a little small section going across in the back and I'm going to spray my base with some of my worked up hairspray ball pigment by Paul Mitchell, sorry. And then I'm going to tease it with my teasing comb. Remember, you want to do most of your tease in the back and then follow it up with it being a little bit softer in the front. Again, hairspray your layer and then tease it with your roots being the base so it gives you that really nice volume. And for that front layer, I'm going to spray a little bit of hairspray and do some super light teasing on this. That way you don't see a ton going into my poof in the front. Then I'm going to spray this again so that it likes to stick together and doesn't show any peekaboos. And then I'm going to use my brush and smooth out the sides as well as the top to get my really pretty poof formed. You don't have to be like super specific, but I like mine to be really clean looking. Then I'm going to use a bobby pin and going in with my rigid side down to my scalp, I'm going to put one straight across my hair and then I'm going to take the other and make it into an X formation, interlocking my two bobby pins. This makes it really secure. And then all you have to do is finish up with some hairspray and you have finished your first look. A super cute poof. on to our second look which is going to be a twisted half updo. What we're going to do is take a small section from one side and I'm going to use about this much of a thickness and I'm going to pull it up and away from my face and twist it away from my face so I'm twisting it inside and I'm going to place that across the top of my head and using a bobby pin for your first one I'm going to place my bobby pin going away from my face and it's going to be placed like so. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side using about the same thickness and twisting it in away from my face and I'm going to place this twist right underneath the first one. So next I'm going to do another one on the opposite side and I'm going to leave a little bit of the front near my ear out because I just like having some of that down. So I'm going to pull out a section, twist it in and then place it right behind that other twist and I'm going to bobby pin my hair up into the previous twist that way you can't see it and I'm going to continue to do this again my third pin I'm going to do the same thing as we did on the other side I'm going to take my section out comb it and then pull it up and behind that other ridge giving us three ridges so far to do my last one and this is going to be right behind my ear. This is going to be our third ridge and that's how many we're going to be doing on each side. So I'm going to twist it away from my face and put it behind the last ridge and then pin it up into the ridge. That way you can't see my bobby pin. Then last you're going to do your third ridge on your other side making your last ridge for all of the little twisties. And so I'm going to twist this away from my face and make sure that I'm hiding my bobby pin up and under my ridge. And as you can see here, I'm pinning it up and under that ridge so you don't see any of your ends of your bobby pins. And we have our finished look. This is so cute and I absolutely love it. So all you need to do is grab your hairspray and then spray it up so you don't have any flyaways. For our third look, we're going to take this up into a ponytail. So what you're going to do is grab a really strong elastic and really carefully bring all of your hair up into a ponytail and kind of get away all those little wispy so it's nice and smooth. And then just place your ponytail holder around your ponytail about three times is what I do on mine. And I make sure that it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to grab a small strand from the underneath of my ponytail and twist it just like we did the previous look. And then I'm going to wrap this around my rubber band so it hides it and you don't see it. This creates a really cute finish for your ponytail style. I'm going to use a bobby pin to pin that little end up and into my ponytail so you don't see the bobby pin. And then all you need to do is grab your worked up hairspray and spray that down. 
So we're on to our last look, number four, and this is going to be our arpadu. So from your ponytail, we're gonna grab small strands, just like we kind of wrapped our ponytail, and I'm going to twist it, and then I'm going to bring it around my ponytail base, and I'm going to direction it one strand one way and then the other strand the other way. So you can see me direct it towards the left, and then I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin that little end into the base of my ponytail. This is going to make it stay and also create a super cute updo. So I'm going to go to the opposite side that I started with, and I'm going to grab a strand out and twist it up, and then go towards the right and do the same thing and pin this in. And I'm going to continue to do this until I have nothing left of my ponytail. As you can see, I only have one little twist to go. I'm going to make sure that it kind of doesn't stick out and look weird, so just mold it into what you want it to look like, and you might need a few bobby pins to secure this in place. We're now finished with this really cute style that you can take four looks and make it into one that works up to this beautiful updo. I hope you guys enjoy. 